Hi, Harper's Bazaar. I'm Coco Jones. Are you ready to go to bed with me? My nighttime routine is normally very simple and straight to the point, typically because I'm so tired by the end of the workday that I'm like, let's get these ingredients and get their purpose and go to sleep. My first product is to remove this cute glam. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover Balm. So basically, I just use my acrylic nail or whatever type of nail I have that's long and pointy. I'm gonna start with these lashes and all of this eyeliner just in case my eyes get a little sensitive from all the products. I kind of just like feel around and put some of the balm on the lash glue. Cause you know when you take your lashes off sometimes and you're literally fighting for your life. Oof, that was a little gory there, sorry. Also look at the difference, hi. So yeah, I'm just basically loosening up that glue so that I don't lose any of my natural lashes cause I really love them. Sorry guys, this is so like, yikes. Okay, next I'm gonna work on the eyeshadow. Basically just massaging this over my eyelids loosening up the product, and I definitely should have clipped my hair back, but here we are. This is kind of where I feel like the emoji baby cries, but you know, moving on. Just gonna wipe this off. It's a really powerful balm, you know? This eyeliner is extremely, extremely heavy, so I like products that don't dry me out while they're removing whatever makeup I had on during the day, and I find that this cleansing balm really does the job there. I want to also clip my hair because realistically, I'm not trying to re-straighten my hair after this. The goal is remove the makeup and keep the hair away so that that way tomorrow there's less to do. Okay, let me just remove the rest of my foundation and whatever's left under the eyes and we can move on to step two. Okay, we're almost done here. Next, we're gonna move on to face wash. So one of my go-to face washes is the Inky List, and this is the salicylic acid in 2%. I learned from my dermatologist that it really doesn't take all of those fancy glamorous products or a DIY. It really just takes good ingredients that have been working all of their lives. I don't know how old salicylic acid is, but anyway, we like her. I'm just gonna take a decent size amount and foam that up with some water. Okay, so Initially, as a teen, didn't struggle with any acne. It was really more when I got into like my early 20s that I started dealing with acne and, and definitely dark marks. I respect you guys, but God, you're annoying. So I tried a lot of DIYs at that time. YouTube was my favorite, and I was learning all of these things and how to craft all of these concoctions. Ended up burning my skin, and basically, I fell in love with aloe vera, because then it was like a healing agent. But really what I realized is that all of those products are like really cute and fun, and sometimes it's nice to make like a little DIY oatmeal mask or a cucumber, put the cucumbers over your eyes, like it's fine. But really, you need a dermatologist. You need a professional who does this to tell you what's going on. That's what really helped me. Still some eyeliner there. We're gonna get rid of that. I love Urban Skin RX. So this is their balancing witch hazel toner. And I like it because it's not like too intense. So I just go all around the face with this toner. I don't really like go under my eyes too much because I know that's the most sensitive part of your skin. And then let that dry a little bit. Next I'm gonna go into my serums and this is one of my favorite, The Ordinary. I love their niacinamide and zinc serum. I think it's just good for all over balancing, toning, and a lot of really good properties. And I also just love the way it feels on my skin. I like it, it feels like a layer of like protection. Just gonna add a couple droplets there. One in between, wow. Sometimes I'm so tired and I'm ready to go, so I just put both of my serums in different places and just mix them and I feel very science. But I'm not gonna do that, you guys. I'm gonna be patient. Tonight is about patience and steps. Next I'm gonna go in with the salicylic acid serum. Not a lot though because it was already in my face wash, but just a little extra to keep these products fighting on my behalf. There we go, just one drop. And we'll mix it. Sometimes I like tap it in, like I pretend I just like did the shave and then I'm like, ah, it burns. 
This is the Fade Topicals Brightening and Clearing Serum. It has a lot of really good ingredients that I feel like they're subtle, so they won't like make your skin freak out because they're too powerful for what's going on at the time. They like work slow and steady. So I really like this for spot treating. For example, like if I have dark spots, I would just like tap it on my dark spots and not um, my entire face and just, you know, let them do what they do while I go slumber. So we're moving on. We've done all of our powerful intentional ingredients and now it's time for that final layer, which to me is moisturizer. Very important. I don't want your skin to be dry, suffering and needing some oxygen. This is a really good moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love it. It's, it's light, but it also really does hold weight and make you feel very refreshed and hydrated. Plus it's purple and purple is my favorite color. So I'm just gonna do doop, doop, doop. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm my own masseuse. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're doing wonderful lady with this facial, thank you. And this smells so good, I swear I'm at the spa. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, you know you can take the rest and put it down here, you know, blah, blah, blah. Last thing, Laneige, this lip glowy balm, Chef's kiss. And this is a go-to, whether you're going to sleep, whether you're waking up, whether you're just vibing, hanging out, please use your chapstick, guys. Come on, no crusty lips, it's 2024. This is one of my favorite chapsticks. This is the peach one. I have a couple different flavors. But I just do a thick layer of this because I know it's giving good night and I really want this product to settle in. Give me something I can feel. sleep and I love to sleep I love my bed yeah <laughs> stay tuned for my debut album I'm going to bed good night